In today's program, an electric bike that can cover hundreds of kilometers on a single charge. How two Ukrainian delivery service employees become world-class innovators. Will this bike become one of the entries in the Guinness Book of World Records even before its mass production begins? UA TV will tell about this Ukrainian startup company that undertook creating a personal transport device of the future. The electronic revolution has happened. Not long ago, in the second half of the 20th century, the position of the internal combustion engine seemed unshakable, as manufacturers did not want to reach the already established market. There were plenty of resources and environmental problems were not as severe. Electric motors were of low power and expensive to maintain, while hydrogen motors were not profitable and simply dangerous. In the end, Japan started the mass production of hydrogen sedans, and that is not even mentioned in electric cars, since with millions of sales around the world, they started winning back the market of obsolete cars. The UK and France plan to ban internal combustion engines by 2040. China is also considering abandoning gasoline cars. It is merely a question of time. Economists predict that by 2022, electric cars will become cheaper than traditional cars, and by 2025, at least every 14th vehicle on the road will operate on an electric motor. All that is thanks to a breakthrough of scientists with the creation of lighter batteries with higher capacity that can last long enough to be profitable. However, not only car makers stand to benefit from this engineering breakthrough. Electric bikes and scooters have existed for many years, but it just so happened that no large company paid much attention to this market, as they dealt exclusively with cars. But what happens when a large business misses an opportunity? Right. clever innovative individuals pick up on this and try to capitalize on such an excellent and lucrative opportunity. There are motorcycles that run on gasoline, but the niche of the coolest electric motorcycle remains vacant to this day. So our goal is to fill this empty space. And this is not just a dream. Danilo Tonkopi and Serhi Denisenko claim that they have indeed created the best electric bike in the world, right here in Kiev. According to them, it has several times more range than any other analog. It all started with a self-made bike for delivery service. That is the first model based on the frame that with modifications is used in our current superbike that has a travel range of 420 kilometers. But did the Ukrainians really make a technological leap in the creation of electric bikes? How much is the world truly interested in such a vehicle? And will this superbike be able to officially beat the world record of travel distance on one battery charge? Limitations lead either to disappointment or progress. Danilo and Serhi admit that they had never been particularly interested neither in motorcycles nor in bicycles. The former is an economist by education and the latter specializes in refrigeration devices. Several years ago they were united by the idea of a joint venture. I wanted to order a mobile phone in an online store and they could only deliver it tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I was on the phone with their representative and I asked her how much same-day delivery would cost, 100 or maybe 500 hryvnia. She replied they could not physically do that. So then I asked why pizza can't be delivered within half an hour, but they couldn't deliver a mobile phone within the same time frame. In less than a few months, both Danilo and Andri created a service for the delivery of products in Kyiv within an hour. In order to deliver the product on time, they needed a form of transport that would not get stuck in traffic jams. The partners decided to purchase electric bikes from the most popular manufacturers. By their technical specifications, the electric bike could travel 80 kilometers on one battery charge. My partner Danilo immediately decided to put the device to the test. He sat on the bike and drove only 35 kilometers. According to Serhi, the sellers explained that such a bike requires a flat surface and a pedaling aid to travel the projected distance. Of course, such models were not suitable for fast delivery around the city with dense traffic. So the most obvious solution to this problem was to attach additional batteries to the electric bike. But that increased the weight of the bike to 100 kilograms. After the first snowfall, we put winter tires on it. The tires burst every 7 kilometers. The same thing happened several times in a row, and every additional improvement created new problems. In a few months, it turned out that even the best bicycle frames were not strong enough, 
even for the lightest batteries. The loads wore down the metal frame and it broke. It then became quite clear that we had to redesign the electric bike. Quoting Thomas Edison, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. It's the same with us. We just found several hundred ways to ride an electric bike that won't work. We took the best parts of every kind. Everything started with kickstands, pedals, lever controls and everything else and combined them all in the right order. Danilo and Serhi believe that anyone who would devote enough time to the development of electric bikes would achieve the desired results. These two young innovators have spent about three years on developing this bike. How it's done. It is amazing, but the first electricity-driven bicycles were patented back in the late 19th century. Naturally, the first models were bulky and electricity was used only as an auxiliary force. A real boom happened only in the late 1990s. Asian countries became the main manufacturers of electric bikes. However, the range of one battery charge without paddling was no more than several dozen kilometers up until now. It was considered that nobody needed more advanced electric bikes, as sportsmen would prefer paddling and delivery services would be able to fulfill their task on mopeds running on diesel fuel. Realizing that, Danilo and Sarhi decided to combine several types of vehicles into one model. It's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. There is no classification for electric bikes yet. And we have made a symbiosis between a cross-country motorcycle, a mountain bike, a motorcycle and a standard bicycle with pedals. So it is something in between, like a hybrid. Even a hybrid. Weak frames turned out to be the main problem with electric bikes. Parts from the best manufacturers could not withstand the weight of the batteries of the required capacity. So they had to redesign this electric bike. This frame is especially designed for electric bikes. The batteries are placed on it in a convenient way. Plus, the bike is reinforced to withstand the weight of the batteries and our roads. It's not heavy, weighing about 50 kilograms. The frames for electric bikes designed by Danilo and Serhii are manufactured by a Ukrainian company in Ternopil. The specially reinforced frame houses the newest imported batteries, which are the main component that determines one-third of the final price. In order for the bike to last as long as possible without having to replace the battery, it must have the longest life cycle. We have tested a lot of different batteries and have now decided to stick to US-made batteries as they put out 2.5 to 4.1 volts. The batteries have more recharge cycles, not a thousand, but three thousand. Such batteries should last 10 years of active use at temperatures from minus 30 to plus 30 degrees Celsius. They also had to choose a suitable electric engine so that it would be light, as efficient as possible and allow for cruising at the highest possible speed. The overall progress in this sphere allowed Danilo and Serhii to find a successful solution to the problems they came up against, which can be considered an impressive feat that they would not have managed to achieve 10 years ago. We had several types of engines in use, both reductive motors and direct current motors. We chose DC motors, which are more durable and practical in everyday use. Our engine takes advantage of the principle of regenerative braking, which allows to push the brakes, meaning that the engine will brake on its own. It rotates with extra force, which at that moment generates energy that recharges the battery. Despite this, the energy return indicator is only 8 to 10 percent, so it's rather insignificant. However, this mechanism preserves the brake pads. The most perfect Ukrainian electric bike can reach speeds of up to 80 km per hour. These Ukrainian inventors also buy the rest of the parts – wheels, handlebars, seats and various devices like GPS modules abroad. It takes two days to assemble one bike when all the parts are available. After one to four hours of charging the battery, the electric bike is ready to roll. When Danilo and Serhii finally created the bike of their dreams for the delivery service, it took some time for them to realize just how unique and practical this new form of transport and electricity that they had invented really was. 
Yes, we made the bike for ourselves. In fact, we just satisfied our own needs and tried to bring our concept to fruition. And in the end, it worked. We had no goal of creating a cool bike that would sell like hotcakes all over the world. The Ukrainians decided to attract investors for the production of the most perfect electric bike through crowdfunding. Danilo remembers that his first idea was to film a great promo in the US or in one of the EU countries. Instead, their partners soon abandoned the idea in favor of Ukraine. After all, Ukraine has something to show for itself, and we have things to be proud of. So we abandoned the idea of going to Europe or the US to film American landscapes. And that's it. Instead, we filmed our own Ukrainian roads, riding from Kyiv to Rivne, which is 310 kilometers, and then even a longer distance to Dubno. In total, we covered 380 kilometers on one battery charge of our electric bike. In the end, the video was made public and the improved model, into which Danilo and Serhii put all their experience over three years of work, raised the needed $50,000 in less than a day. However, their huge success was accompanied by a measure of skepticism. Some internet users did not believe that the Ukrainian electric bike could cover such a long distance on one charge of the battery, as it seemed to them that this bike was way more advanced in terms of the capabilities in comparison to other similar models. There was a lot of negative feedback. People said we were lying and did not ride 380 kilometers. We officially invited representatives of the Book of Records of Ukraine and also submitted an application to the Guinness Book of World Records. We reached an agreement with the Kyiv cycling track. We plan to start at 1 a.m. and cover a distance of 400 kilometers on one battery charge. At a speed of 25 kilometers per hour, that will take 16 hours. An obligatory condition of the record is that the pedals must be blocked so that the driver could not help the bike in any way. Danilo and Serhii understood that they only have one attempt, as even a malfunction that is not related to the battery can cancel out all their achievements. They faced certain difficulties right from the start. The bike with the professional cyclist at the helm only set out on its journey six hours later than the scheduled departure time due to heavy rains. The ride along the loop dragged on throughout the day and until late at night. In the end, the desired result was not achieved. Due to the cold weather, the batteries discharged quicker than Danilo and Serhii had expected. Their bike covered just 368 kilometers without being recharged, thus surpassing the best mileage of its predecessors by several times. Now the Ukrainian electric bike officially holds the record of the longest mileage on one battery charge. However, it had already made a world sensation even before the confirmation of the record, as Danilo presented one of the models at the largest international bicycle exhibition in Las Vegas. People approached it wide-eyed, saying, wow, 236 miles on one charge, that's 380 kilometers, and it's several times cooler than the alternatives. We sold one bike during the exhibition, we signed a contract with a bike store in New York, and we hope to deliver the bike to the buyer by the end of the year. Our bike will be on Fifth Avenue, it will be sold in New York. We also made many contacts around the world in Canada, Germany, Poland and Australia. Danilo Tonkopi and Serhii Denisenko have no illusions since it's just the beginning of their great work. It was the obliviousness of other electric vehicle manufacturers that created the niche for the Ukrainian inventors, but they're not going to repeat the same mistake. Their goal is to make Ukraine the birthplace of the most perfect electric bike in the world for many years to come. So hold on tight, it's time to hit the road. And remember, it's electric.